to get a car. But do you know what you want? More importantly, do you know what you need? When determining the make and model of the vehicle best suited to you, it is natural to have a wish list. Maybe you want something fast and sporty, or something youthful and fun. Regardless of the qualities and features you want, you must first think about the qualities and features you need in a vehicle. After all, meeting your transportation needs is the primary purpose of the vehicle. What, what are my practical reasons for getting a vehicle? Do I need space? Do I need fuel efficiency? Do I need to haul a, a trailer? So then it's gonna, you're going to look at, wow, am I looking at a car? Am I looking at a truck or an SUV? Um, those are things to look at before you go out and test drive vehicles. You don't need to be test driving a Mustang if you're going to be pulling a trailer. So and it's going to alleviate a lot of time. Just looking at your everyday life, what is more important? You know, a big four-wheel drive jacked up truck or, or you know, a 32 mile per gallon fuel efficient car. And so uh, that's something that we can't help you with. You're going to have to determine, you know, what those needs are. And, you know, and then everything is categorized. We have cars and from cars we have compact mid-size and full-size in trucks we have compact mid-size and full-size and in uh, SUVs you have compact mid-size and full-size so you know it's basically divided up into three big uh, three big categories and then you can kind of see which way you need to go what which what fits best for you to determine what car best fits your needs you must be aware of the types of vehicles available Although you probably see many vehicles each day on the roads throughout your town or city, how much do you know about each type? Basic classifications of cars include sedans, coupes, wagons, SUVs, pickup trucks, and vans. Sedans are one of the most common car types, characterized by their four doors, two rows of seats, and traditional trunk design. They are relatively easy to maneuver, their low height makes entry and exit easy, and their low center of gravity makes rollovers less common than in some other vehicles. Generally, when compared to other types of cars, sedans have good fuel economy and are affordable. However, sedans are not suiting for towing or off-road driving, and all-wheel drive options are limited. A coupe is a smaller version of a sedan. It is generally a two-door car with a traditional trunk design and either one or two rows of seats. Coupes are sometimes viewed as sporty due to their small size and the sport features they often offer, including a stronger engine and lower ground clearance. A primary advantage of coupes is their appearance and image. Other factors such as safety, affordability, and handling vary by make and model. The fuel economy of a coupe also varies greatly depending on its engine strength. Economy coupes with four-cylinder engines get great gas mileage, while high-powered sport coupes with larger engines provide thrilling performance but below average gas mileage. A wagon is also similar to a sedan, having two rows of seats accommodating four to five people. However, rather than a traditional trunk, Wagons have a hatchback-style cargo door, allowing for storage of bulkier cargo. Some wagons even have seating options in the rear area. Wagons go by many names, including station wagon, estate car, weekender, and squareback. The additional cargo storage space is a main advantage of wagons, and they tend to have fuel economy and affordability similar to sedans. Some also argue Wagons are easier to maneuver than the larger SUVs, trucks, and vans, which offer the additional space. 
The appeal of the appearance of wagons seems to be on the decline, though. In addition, the hatchback-style trunk does not allow for the privacy of the traditional trunk due to the cargo door's window. SUV is short for Sport Utility Vehicle. Although not all of the vehicles considered SUVs today would fit that description perfectly, an SUV is commonly described as any large vehicle with raised ground clearance and available all-wheel drive. SUVs generally seat five to nine passengers in two or three rows of seats. They also typically have a large cargo area as well. Its size and capacity to transport more people and cargo is its main advantage. In addition, many SUVs are equipped for off-road travel and travel in inclement weather such as snow and ice. Disadvantages of SUVs include the low average fuel economy and an increased chance of rollover accidents. Pickup trucks are vehicles with two distinct areas, the cab for passengers and the bed for cargo. The cab may have two or four doors and one or two rows of seats. The bed is an open-top cargo area unlike traditional car trunks. Trucks are typically larger and heavier than traditional cars, making them somewhat safer in a collision. However, because of the size and weight, they are less nimble and less capable of avoiding collisions. Plus, their weight causes fuel economy to suffer. Trucks are one of the most suitable vehicles for hauling, towing, and off-roading because they are generally considered very durable. Vans are large box-shaped vehicles with two traditional doors and sliding or double back doors. Vans do not have traditional trunk designs, but have either a hatchback style back door or double back doors. A major advantage of vans is their large passenger capacity. Minivans seat seven or eight passengers in three rows of seats, and full-size vans seat up to 15 people with up to five rows of seats. Vans also typically have large cargo capacity, and many have versatile seating options, including the ability to remove seats in order to create additional cargo storage. The fuel economy of vans varies greatly based on body and engine size. Most people consider the biggest disadvantage of vans their public perception as utility cars or mom cars, and their sometimes unfashionable appearance. Due to the extensive variety in makes and models, some car designs may combine elements of more than one of these styles, and there are variations of each style. In addition to the many styles of car, motorcycles should also be considered when thinking about transportation vehicles. A motorcycle is a two- or three-wheeled vehicle on which passengers are open to the elements. Motorcycles are generally less expensive than cars, and they typically get much better gas mileage. However, Motorcycles are considered much more dangerous than cars, causing insurance rates to be much higher. Also, in most states, you must be issued a motorcycle license to drive them. Each type of vehicle has its advantages and disadvantages, but to know how those apply to you and your needs, you must ask yourself a few questions. How many people will you need to accommodate? How much cargo space will you need? What type of driving will you be doing most commonly? For example, will you be driving on the highway often? Will you need to take the vehicle off-road? What type of weather will you need to drive in? For example, are you likely to encounter ice and snow? Do you need all-wheel drive? How important is fuel efficiency? What types of safety features are most important to you? Will you need towing capabilities? How much maintenance are you willing and able to handle? How much garage or parking space do you have? How much do you care or worry about depreciation or reduction in value over time? As you are thinking about the answers to each of these questions, you may consider creating a written list of must-haves, as well as a list of qualities you would like and qualities you want to avoid. Having this checklist will help you compare and rate options later in the process. The list of questions that people ask uh, in determining which type of vehicle that they uh, should choose is uh, uh, mostly based upon needs. 
Uh, you know, if you have uh, eight kids in your family, uh, a coop's not going to cut the, 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 the mustard. So uh, I think, uh, you know, what are you going to use the vehicle for is, is probably uh, primary. The choosing a make and model is a kind of a personal choice. I think a, a lot of people, of course, go for looks, but no, looks probably shouldn't be a determining factor, though uh, I find for most people when they get on the lot, they, have, they definitely have something that they, they want in mind. There are uh, so many different models out there today uh, for people to select from, but Consumer Reports is a great place uh, to go to to uh, kind of get an idea, you know, what is the most reliable type of vehicle on the market, communicate with people. Uh, that uh, maybe own that type of uh, model. Uh, you know, if you're, you're looking at a, a Nissan, go talk to people that own a Nissan, or a Toyota, go talk to people that own a Toyota. Another big decision to make early in the process is whether you want a new car or a used car. When determining new versus used, I think that most people will often go to a used car because they think that it's gonna be more affordable. Um, in, in, in truth, in borrowing and loaning money, everything's predicated upon um, risk. And so the older a vehicle is, the higher the rate of interest and the shorter the term. So sometimes, or most times, you can probably buy a newer vehicle because the, the uh, manufacturers incentivize uh, interest rates, uh, they incentivize rebates to help you get into a car. So, uh, you know, a new, new uh, often uh, would be a better choice. Uh, but, you know, if you're looking strictly at your total outgo, you know, there are a number of great used cars on the market. Just make sure, again, that uh, you know what you're picking. Uh, you know, check with your consumer reports to, to make sure that the, the model that you're buying has been a reliable model. And, um, you know, it doesn't hurt to get a Carfax. The Carfax is uh, something that's offered by a company that uh, will pull all title records and damage reports and all records pertaining to your vehicle. Now, uh, not all the information you get on a Carfax is 100% is reliable, uh, but it's better than having no information at all. So it gives you an idea of the history of the vehicle. Uh, if a vehicle has been owned you know, four times in, in three years, maybe not the best vehicle to buy. Uh, so uh, Carfax gives you information like that. Finding a vehicle that fits all your needs is not an easy task. However, all of the preparation you do to fully realize, understand, and prioritize your transportation needs can make the process less overwhelming and ensure you choose the right vehicle for you and your situation.